Question five uh, related to electric circuit assignment. So figure 9.1 shows a current uh, potential difference graph, for, which is, uh, or you can also say IV graph. For an IV graph, remember that what slope represents, the slope is reciprocal of the resistance. Means what happened? If the slope is increasing, it means the resistance will decrease. And opposite will happen. If a slope is decreasing, it means the resistance will increase. So we have two components, resistor and thermistor. For a res resistor, it's a straight line. So what you can say about the resistance of a resistor? Is it increasing, decreasing, or remain constant? It's a straight line. So what we can say? Constant. Yes. Constant, because the slope is not changing. If a slope is not changing, it means the resistance will not change. So resistance will be constant for the th resistor. But what about the thermistor? For a thermistor, when you check what happened to the slope for an IV graph? Resistance is decreasing. So yeah, that's right. Because the slope is increasing, if a slope is increasing, it means its resistance will decrease as they are inversely proportional. For an IV graph, if it is voltage current graph, then they will be directly proportional. The question is calculate the resistance of a thermistor when the potential is seven. So how we can work out when the potential or voltage is seven, so you just have to use your graph. This is 7.0 or seven. You will draw a line from seven and find how much current is there. On y-axis, the 10 boxes equals to two. So each box is representing 0.2. So this will be four point, this will be 4.2, 4 4.4 and 4.6. So this will be 4.6. So we have the voltage and we have the current, we need the resistance. So how we can work out the resistance? Resistance is actually a ratio between voltage and current. So what will be R? R is V over I. Voltage is seven and the current is 4.6. What's the answer for this? Seven divided by 4.6. 1.521. Five, 5 to 1. Or oh, 1.52, we normally write the answer in 3 significant. So we can just write 1.5. Then you have to complete this table by looking at this graph. So you will use a screen annotation. By looking at the graph, complete the table. What happened to resistance of the resistor? And what happened to resistance of thermistor? In a table, just take the boxes that indicate the effect on the resistance of a resistor and for thermistor. So resistance of a resistor, it's a straight line passing through origin. It means resistance is constant. But for thermistor, the slope is increasing. It means its resistance is decreasing. The next question, thermistor and resistors are connected in parallel to seven volt supply. Calculate the current. If two resistors, if two components are in parallel, the total resistance, total current is equal to sum of current in each branch. So we have a thermistor. This is a circuit symbol for thermistor. And this is a circuit symbol for resistor. Both of them are connected to a seven volt supply. So there is a supply of seven volts. So what we will do, we have to use this graph and using this graph, we'll work out the current in each. So when the voltage was seven, because they're connected in parallel, the current was 4.6. If the current was 4.6 ampere and both have the same current, like this was having 4.6 ampere, this is also having 4.6 ampere. How much current entered from the supply or what is the current from the supply? 9.2. 9.2, because the total current in a, in, in a parallel circuit, the current from the supply is equal to sum of current in each branch. So it will be 4.6 plus 4.6. So that's equal to 9.2 ampere. So current, if they were in series, they will have the same. Like if what is the current in the thermistor, same current will be there across. So that's equal to 9.2 ampere. 
then energy transfer from the supply in five minutes. So energy transfer, energy is equals to power into time, or we can say voltage into current into time. So we have an energy, the electrical energy can be in kilowatt hour, or it can be in joules as well. So voltage, we have a seven volt supply, the total current is 9.2 and it is used for five minutes. So it will be five multiplied by 60. What's the answer? How much energy, the total energy? Nineteen thousand three hundred twenty joules. So nineteen thousand three hundred and twenty, and the unit of energy is joule. 